Hi, I'm Mike Young of Athletic Lab Sports Performance Training Center. Today we're going to talk about speed, specifically the warm-up necessary to get through a speed session safely and effectively. There's several key points that we need to address when talking about warm-ups for speed sessions. The first is making sure that the warm-up is adequate and thorough. Training for speed is a very serious stress on the body with the potential for injury. So we need to make sure that the warm-up that we perform for an athlete is going to ensure that they can get to that speed session safely. We want to make sure that our warm-up moves from general to specific over time. So our warm-up is going to last about 10 minutes at least, and we're going to start with very, very low intensity general activity. We're going to progress over that 10 plus minutes to the point where the athlete can seamlessly move into the actual speed session. So we're moving from very low intensity activities, things like skipping, to a little bit more intense like jogging, maybe some lateral movements, perhaps even some low level plyometrics, and eventually something that will lead seamlessly into a high intensity activity like sprinting. So now that we've talked about these concepts, let's actually put them into play. I'm gonna take Darian here through an active dynamic warmup. Again, we're gonna start with low intensity, very general activity and ramp our way up to more specific and higher intensity movements. So Darian, let's go ahead and start with a skip with an arm cross down and a backward skip with an arm cross back. And now let's side shuffle down, side shuffle back. We're introducing different locomotor patterns, different foot contacts. Now let's jog down and back pedal coming back. and we'll do a forward weave and then a backward weave. The warm-up is a great opportunity to introduce different types of movement patterns. Now let's do a jog and a squat going down. And a back pedal coming back. And facing this direction, let's go ahead and do a karaoke down and a karaoke back. Good, Darian. Let's go two forward, one back laterally. So we're gradually ramping up the intensity, including some change of direction here, making this a little bit more specific to what we might actually see in a speed session. Okay, and now we're gonna run and jump squat on the way down, and then let's do a hard back pedal on the way back. And now what we can actually do is include a little bit of mobility into this active dynamic warm-up. So now that we've raised core body temperature, we're actually going to include a little bit of dynamic mobility in. So perhaps something like a jog, and then we'll pull our knee into the chest. And then on the way back, Darian, let's go ahead and do a jog with a cross and sit. So here we're opening up the glutes and the hips. And on the way back, we're going to open up the, the glutes. So keeping the athlete moving will ensure that core body temperature stays elevated. And now we'll jog down low and across the body on a sweep. On the way back, we'll do a high kick sweep. So a little bit of lower back rotation here, and then some hamstring hip mobility on the way back. Again, keeping the body moving so we never cool down. Now on the way down, let's go toe touch in the front and on the way back, Let's do toe up and sweep. We're gonna pay particular attention to the hamstrings because that's the most likely muscle to be injured in a sprinting session. Hamstrings are really put to work in a speed session, so we need to be very, very careful there. Okay, let's start to ramp this up just a little bit. Why don't we do a high knee run down and a butt kick run coming back. So again, we're putting these concepts into play. We're getting moving from general to specific over time, ramping up the intensity as we go. And now let's do a straight leg shuffle down. Good, and let's go two forward, one back on the way back. So that's a great starting point for our active dynamic warmup. We've gone through it pretty quickly, but again, we wanna take at least 10, 10 to 15 minutes to do that prior to a speed session. And what we wanna do is make sure that we take the adequate time to make sure that things are right. 
Now let's take Darian through a mobility focus session so that we can make sure that her hips and hamstrings are ready to sprint. So what we're gonna do, Darian, is a couple example drills just to ensure that the hips and the hamstrings in particular are nice and ready to sprint. So let's go ahead and do a toe touch. And what we're gonna do is take her through some dynamic stretches here. Good, now let's do some forward hip circles. So what you're gonna notice here is that we're gonna focus on the hamstrings and the hips. These are really the prime movers, the most important muscles involved with sprinting. If we can, we're gonna to try to keep her active while she's doing this. Now let's take that backwards. We wanna see full ranges of motion here because this is what's gonna happen in the violent actions of sprinting. Good, now let's go a high kick right out in front. Open up that hamstring. Each one of these drills I might do for 10 reps or so just to ensure that we're adequately warmed up and we're increasing the compliance of the muscle tendon unit. Now let's go ahead and lay on the ground, Darian, and let's do a single leg hamstring stretch. So we're just gonna grab behind the calf, hold for a second, and then release. Let's do about 10 aside here. Good, and next, let's put our arms out in a cross and we'll take the leg up and over to the other side. So a little bit of lumbar mobility here, which is really important for sprinting. The pelvis and the hip mobility is gonna be a key driver to sprint success. And from this position, what we're gonna do is take our opposite elbow down to the ankle and then rotate up towards the ceiling. We're doing a lot of things here with mobility. We're opening up the thoracic spine, we're getting a little bit of hip flexor mobility, maybe even a little bit of adductor mobility. So this is a great one for time economy. Now what we'll do is go straight from that last mobility exercise into a hamstring mobility one. So what we're doing here is opening up, lengthening the hamstring. Again, this is a critical muscle for sprinting. We wanna make sure that we have adequate length in the hamstring to ensure that we can sprint safely. Now that we've warmed up the athlete, increasing their core body temperature and enhancing their mobility, they're safe to sprint. Let's go ahead and take a rep, Darian. 